I'm Robert McBride, and this is Everyday People, a program in which we investigate the lives of people making a difference in our community. Robert McBride with the Rocky M Arts and Museum Project Ramp with another episode of Everyday People. On this program, we get to talk to people in the community, making a difference in the community. Today's program, we have Maria Basescu from Next Stage. Maria has been on the program before, and Next Stage is a pretty amazing organization down in Putney, a space where a lot of incredible performance and events go through, and it really has been a community changer and a real addition to the Putney community. So welcome back. Thank you very much. It's always good to see you good and to be do here. that. You know, probably great to start because I like to, um, we have new listeners and people that know probably nothing about Next Stage, but some people that probably know a lot about it and have been there several times. So what's your sort of nutshell kind of Next Stage is? Interestingly enough, Next Stage is a relatively new project. Sometimes people who have been going to events, they're surprised to hear that. Um, so in 2011 is when we started programming events in the space. Mm -hmm. Next Stage is located at 15 Kimball Hill in Putney. Mm -hmm. And that building is, was built in 1841. And we just actually took it over from the Putney Historical Society. We now own the building. Fantastic. We had been working with the Historical Society, however, starting in 2011 to start programming the space and to renovate it. Mm -hmm. So we've completed a $2 million renovation of the wow. space. It was a beautiful old church, and now it's a state-of-the-art performing arts center. Mm. So we do lots of different kinds of events there. It's a community center and performing arts center. We have music concerts uh, of all kinds, classical music. Yellow Barn does many mm -hmm. of their concerts mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. um, wonderful international chamber music organization. Absolutely. And we do folk music concerts, we do rock and roll, now we have a great dance space there, so we have dances. Um, we also have films there, and a, we have our own theater company in residence, Apron mm -hmm. Theater Company, that does two major productions each summer. And we have literary events, spoken word. Now we also have a commercial grade kitchen yes, downstairs. Yes. Mm -hmm. So last night, as a matter of fact, we had a packed uh, Vietnamese cooking class Fantastic. there. And so we're doing basically cooking classes once a month, and those are a big hit with folks. And we have an art gallery now. We have a, a show up right now by Evie Lovett, a um, photography caustic arts painting exhibit and we do educational classes and workshops mm -hmm. and all kinds of things. So mm -hmm. um, we have free community suppers there every mm -hmm. month mm -hmm. and um, so it's a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, it's kind of amazing because when I think of the space, you know, I also think of a, an organization up in Morrisville called River Arts, which was an arts organization that evolved into taking over space, bringing up to a level so a lot of community activities mm -hmm. happen in there. So in your blend, and you as executive director, mm -hmm. I assume yes. is your title. It is. <laughs> okay. How much of it is, um, you know, just coordination of things that happen through the space so that you're like, you know, people come through you, I want to use the space for this or that and the contracts and the stuff. And then what is some of, as opposed to the programmatic things that Next Stage itself produces or, you know, coordinates yeah. directly? So. Unlike um, many organizations, uh, take the Latches Theater in Brattleboro, for example, <clears throat> which is a beautiful space and wonderful group of people that run that, they do not do their own programming. Mm -hmm. They are not a presenting organization. Maybe one or two things a year do they do. Mostly it's <clears throat> rentals and coordinations, and that's, you know, of course, in addition to the films and so on. And um, Next Stage is mostly a presenting house. We okay. do programming. We also sometimes rent out the organization mm -hmm. or um, work with other groups. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> However, most of what we do is our own productions, which wow. generally means we're doing 
the contracting and there's financial risk involved in that, mm -hmm. unlike with a rental, yep. um, which right. is just sort of a separate mm -hmm. transaction. Um, so we do quite a lot. I have a programming committee that works with me um, with a, some really great folks involved in that, some board members, some community members. And so we are constantly fielding, there's a lot, in, increasingly as our reputation grows, we have agents and artists contacting us who want to perform there. And also we do, you know, each year I go to APAP in New York, right. Association of yeah. Performing Arts Professionals, mm -hmm. and um, hear new artists and network with agents and so on. But so a lot, of, there's a lot of mm -hmm. work that goes into finding talent and negotiating contracts and um, we're, we're very concerned with keeping a balance of the types of programming we mm -hmm. do. So unlike, you know, we aren't only a theater company mm -hmm. or only a music house, um, and we want to keep diversity in the programming. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Yeah, no, it's a lot. It's, it's an amazing, it's an amazing place. And to just bring the amount of diversity of programming you do through it is incredible. What, what do you think, you know, because, you know, here we are in Vermont, okay, so, I mean, I'm sure part of the mission is you're serving the residents of the community and the region with, you know, quality programming, and you're also trying to attract yes. people to the area from out, of, from away, right. whether they come for the day or whether they come for an overnight or something and do it, so that's very exciting. How do you find, I mean, you, you have to wear so many hats with what you do. You sort of have to be a, a tourism kind of person. You have to be this, you have to be that. You have to yep. answer the question like, this plug isn't working or something. You know? <laughs> but how do you, when you step back and maybe look seasonally at Vermont or now that you have a few years into the programming, mm -hmm. you know, are there, are, are there times where it really is very quiet? So you just say, okay, we're, you know it quiets down in February, for instance, or is there no rhyme or reason to some of the programming timing and what you would think? So, uh, unlike some other organizations that are seasonal in their, in their productions, um, we're year-round, mm -hmm. which is fun and exhausting. Mm -hmm. in, in terms of slow season, you know, primarily, as I said, we have the theater company that's operating in the summer. Mm -hmm. So that just changes the rhythm of things a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, and then I would say in the winter months, we're just a little bit more cautious because of weather. Right, in, right. In so we don't book as many things. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we're more inclined to do, we're sensitive to that people need some, like, relief so we'll do more we'll do some dances you mm. know some winter like mm. people got to get out of the house yeah, and, yeah. Um, and break the isolation right. and get together and and move mm -hmm. so you know our programming's influenced seasonally in that sense mm. um, and of course there's some prime months in the fall you know October April May we are also cognizant that at those times that are great for booking things, everyone's booking things, so there's a lot more competition. Right. So yeah. you just try to um, navigate those mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. as best we can. Mm -hmm. And if you sort of think about a 30 or 60 mile radius around Putney and Next Stage, who do you feel some of your um, natural partners are maybe, or people you're always touching base with, or you might even think of collaborating on some advertising of what you were doing, you know, because I think we all get kind of lost in our world. We're in our community, we're doing this and then we're doing that, you right. know, but if you sort of step back and, you know, it's not competition, it's what else is happening. How do we collaborate? Because we have the same aims yep. and the programming, you know, just who are some of the other organizations so, that you generally kind of look to or reach out to? I mean, or that, that is really a central point uh, to the identity of Next Stage is that we very much see ourselves as a collaborative partner and approach programming very mindfully in order to not be setting ourselves up in direct competition with other cultural partners. And it's easier for us, perhaps, than some to do that because, as I said, we're not exclusively theater or right. film or uh, any one genre. So we can reach out to collaborate. So very regularly, um, our, our partners, and you're right, we're, we're not only looking at the region, we 
we're looking to become ever increasingly a destination mm -hmm. for people to come from out of town. So to that point, we are very actively working with the Putney Business Alliance, okay. uh, which is sort of in a new iteration right now. Mm -hmm. And that's all kinds of um, schools, businesses, mm -hmm. other arts organizations that are working together to try to refine Putney's identity and visibility in the larger world and let people know you can come, you can stay at this beautiful bed and breakfast, you can go skiing, you can go to these restaurants, you can go to these events. Um, so we're, we're working to build economic mm -hmm. vitality through right. that mechanism. But very regularly we partner with Yellow Barn Music, with right. Sandglass Theater, with uh, Main Street Arts mm -hmm. in Saxons mm -hmm. River, mm -hmm. with um, uh, New England Youth Theater in Vermont Jazz Center, uh, and I very deliberately meet informally, you know, have coffee or something with people from those partners from those organizations regularly in terms of, and we do co-productions mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. In terms of reach, you know, you mentioned a 30 to 60 mile radius. We are increasingly pulling audiences from greater distances. And I would say the Northampton mm -hmm. Pioneer Valley area is, as well as the Upper Valley, but mm -hmm. certainly from the, the South, mm -hmm. we're building uh, audience from mm -hmm. there. I'm always amazed. I generally ask audiences how many have never been to Next Stage yeah. before, and regularly at least a third of the audience uh, uh, will self-identify as yeah. new to yeah. coming. And that's just so wonderful yeah, to see absolutely. more and more absolutely. new folks. Same thing whenever I've hosted things at the Opera House, you know, uh, different events and stuff, and it's such a great venue for uh, movies and stuff. You know, how many people have never really been there to experience the uh, the Opera House in Bellows Falls? Yeah. And then they go, oh, wow, this is so great. It's yeah. like, yeah, well, come back for other things. You know, we don't have as active, pretty much there's standard movies that are shown there and the town owns the building. But when other events are there, it's just a really a, it's a really great venue like, that people aren't aware of. For all. example, Jesus Christ Superstar is coming, coming up. with up. Main Street Arts. And that's going to be wonderful. Yeah, Do be, not miss. No, no, that's going to be really, I'll, really, really I'm great going. stuff. Yeah. And stuff. So great. And, and we also wanted to, um, there's a person that works with you, <clears throat> excuse me, Barry Stockwell, who we're going to have called into the program. So I'm going to get Barry on the phone. But in the meantime, Marie, if you just want to kind of maybe give the website of Next Stage yep. or a couple of the events that are coming up, yep. you know, and Great. then I'll say, okay, stop, Barry's here, you sure, know. So sure. you talk while I get him on the line. So it's nextstagearts.org, and we have a calendar of events and that's constantly changing and being updated. So just for example, I mentioned we had a cooking class last night, and we had a wonderful reading last Saturday night for Women's History Month. We have... If you want to take a walk on the wild side of Americana, this weekend we have the Slambovian Circus of Dreams coming on Friday night. We have Bread and Puppet Theater on Saturday night. And then next Thursday we have uh, the filmmaker Nora Jacobson is presenting hey, two Robert. films. How you doing? Um, the Hanji Box. Good, good. I'm going to put you on speaker. Which, and Marie is going to just finish up announcing some things. We're on the air and stuff, and then we'll start talking with you. So I'm going to put you on speaker now. You'll hear Maria's wrapping up with a few things on the website. Okay. Great. Great. All right. So the last Thursday of each month, we have a uh, film series called Framed, um, and it's a hosted film series where one of the filmmakers, the director, producer, our central person comes and hosts the film, introduces it. So we have Nora Jacobson with the Hanji Box Great. and the R Word, uh, which has original music with by Tyler Gibbons. Fantastic. Um, so that's happening on Thursday the 29th and then just a whole packed series of events in April and we'll let Barry tell us yeah. a little bit more about well, some I'm of those. Let you, this is Barry Stockwell which I'm going to let Marie maybe introduce and maybe several of you know him and 
Barry, I keep saying we've got to get you for your own program here, so because you've been on the, I think, call-ins a couple of times now. But uh, welcome to the show, and I'm Thank gonna let you. Maria introduce you, and we'll just talk a few minutes about some of the stuff you guys are involved with together. Well, to introduce Barry, um, I'm gonna need more than the half hour total <laughs> amount of time that the show is, because um, he has a very lengthy and diverse biography. But uh, he's one of the founders of Next Stage. Oh, he is that. the venue manager of Next Stage. Okay. He is a musician in his own right, um, with the Stockwell brothers, who yeah. have a, a great concert coming up in May as part of a, a festival that we're doing. Uh, and he also has been on the board of the Putney Historical Society, and, um, and he has all kinds of other talents that I can't even say publicly. But, um, <laughs> nice talking to you, Barry. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> he's, he's a wonderful partner. He's also been the, he's been the producer of Twilight Music, which is now um, merged with Next Stage in terms of a series of the folk and mm. Celtic music mm -hmm. that we produce. So, um, yeah. So Barry can tell us more about some of those upcoming shows. Sure. For sure. sure. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, Twilight Music, uh, started, uh, I think, back in around 2003, I started doing uh, concerts at, at Hooker Dunham, and for the last, uh, oh, four years, I guess, I presented, co-presented everything with uh, Next Stage at, uh, at Next Stage, and um, we've done all sorts of, well, mostly acoustic-based music, I do a lot of singer-songwriters, um, like Jonathan Edwards and Cheryl Wheeler, uh, bluegrass bands, Celtic music, um, and a variety of other bands, and uh, uh, we've got uh, pretty much one a month scheduled through the spring. Um, the next one is, is this Friday, uh, the Flambovian Circus of Dreams, oh. which, which is a uh, very fun, they're up to a six-piece band now, um, but uh, it's a band that I've booked now probably for close to 10 years, and uh, uh, I really like them a lot. They, they they do a really nice mix of music. It's sort of kind of uh, folk based, but they they have a drummer and they all plug in. So it's uh, it's got a lot of energy. And uh, and uh, last time and this time again too, they they're going to do some projection while they're playing. They have a, a video that runs behind them. That's it's synced with the, the songs. Uh, and that that can be incredibly powerful. Um, they do one song. I remember last time. Uh, it's called the uh, Trans uh, Trans Lambovian Bipolar Express, and it's this really chugging, upbeat song. Uh, and they had the video of uh, old uh, locomotives, steam steam trains powering. Uh, across the wide open plains, running behind them, and it was just a really powerful combination of, of song and uh, and video. So, uh, anyhow, that's this Friday, uh, March twenty third, is the next Twilight uh, concert, the uh, Flambovian Circus of Dreams. Um, after that, uh, in April, April twenty first, uh, we have Cantrip again, which is one of my favorite Celtic bands. Um, they, their fiddler still lives in Scotland and only comes over, I think, twice a year. So I try to catch them on one of those visits. Dan uh, Houghton, the uh, the piper, lives uh, very nearby, I think, in the in Halstead, New Hampshire these days. Um, but uh, I try to get them once a year. So they're coming in on April 21st with a really uh, fantastic singer um, opening the show, a uh, Celtic folk singer named uh, Lindsay Straw, who I just discovered and I'm very excited about uh, bringing to next stage. Wow, that's great. So lucky to have you as a resource and a person that sort of stays out there so much and connected. And, um, you know, I think this is what so much of the community is. You know, you get these people and you start to create a space and then people come together. And it's, you know, and that's what I've just always constantly... Um, remark on and I'm, I'm overwhelmed with in Vermont and the, in this region both sides of the river is there's just how much talent and things there are you know I think when I first moved up from New York I thought well what's it going to be like you know living here you know I guess I'll go to Brattleboro more or something and it's like there's just so many people doing so many interesting things and you have access to these people when you go to a concert at next stage you have you can go up and talk to the person yeah you know and, and it's like 
It's <clears throat> which so amazing. Is, and the flip side of that is that these artists love performing there for that reason. Because, because they're having a relationship. Yeah, there's an intimacy and a, a connection to the audience that sometimes they lose in the larger venues that they can also right, play. Right. And uh, for them to find this combination of a really professional space yes. with that kind of access and connection. Right, and it's, being in a, yeah, in the community. And, you know, especially in all these, you know, these, our, our, our political times and context, just to always be around artists that are doing things. And when I've had artists from foreign countries come, it's just like, we're people, you know? I mean, the governments are all doing this stuff, but when you actually get to connect with the artists and the people, you know, we really realize we're, we're in the same tribe, you know, yeah. of something. It's really true. It's I mean, just amazing. Actually, that gets at a central po point for me and I think everyone who's involved in this project, but it can be so overwhelming and depressing to sort of take in the craziness mm -hmm. of the larger world. And, you know, how do we stay engaged in that and address it and try to change that? Digging, having a local community to dig into in the way that we can, yeah. it just, it's, it's a big relief because we're doing work that's about right. connecting people, which is in contrast to right. the direction of a lot of other forces, yeah. um, but it feeds us yeah. at, at yeah. the same time. Yeah. So uh, Barry, I've kind of been given the high sign. I have a couple minutes left. Is there one quick thing you'd like to say? And otherwise this has inspired me to give you a call <clears throat> maybe this afternoon to set up your own time to have a program with you, which <laughs> okay. is long overdue. Uh, uh, I just, I'm having a, a great time. I think we're, the next page uh, combines, uh, you know, national talent or local talent and, and, uh, and the old and the new, you know, this grand old building with you know state-of-the-art theater and now a, a commercial kitchen and um, uh, it's just bringing together a lot of different forces uh, in a really positive way in downtown Putney which is my hometown and uh, it's, it's a great great little community and I think next stage is uh, right in the thick of it these yep. days. Absolutely. Well, thank you for taking the time to uh, to join us and I'm going to cut you off now but I will call you to set up your own program with me. So we can catch okay. up on things. Thank you, Thank you so much, Barry. Bye-bye. So do you want to, um, I know we kind of are wrapping it up, but did you want to kind of, um, I don't know where you got with maybe announcing a couple things. Want to give the website yep. and just say boom? So it's nextstagearts.org. Okay. That's it again. Um, and what, one thing that I'll just cue people up to listen for is something we're pretty excited about. I mentioned the Stockwell Brothers are going to be performing in May. We got our first National Endowment for the Arts grant mm -hmm. this year. Um, which we could even apply for now that we're accessible mm -hmm. after the renovation mm -hmm. was completed. Very important. But that is for a, an Our Town grant for a project called Legacy Putney. And there will be a 10-day festival of all different kinds of events, including contra dances and swing dances and concerts and uh, com uh, traditional family recipe tastings. 10 days of events, all free okay. to the public um, to celebrate this amazing community that we have. So keep your ears posted. When, when are we sort May of thinking? May 3rd through 13th. Of 18? May 3rd through 13th. Oh my gosh, it's wow. It's a program. There will be storytelling. Okay. And uh, a, 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 as I said, food in a variety of ways and films and students and elders and um, all free, all 10 days and It'll be a great way to return to Next Stage if you've been there before or to try it out for the first time Fantastic. if you've never been. What an so opportunity. Thank you. Heads Marie. up on that. Thank you for joining us. You're always welcome on the program with all these things. And um, yeah, that sounds like an amazing, an amazing programming thing to participate in, to have. So um, I want to again thank uh, Fact TV for being such a great resource in the community for spreading the word. And I'd also like to thank the uh, Vermont Arts Council, the National Endowment for Arts, Chroma Technology, and First Light, formerly Sovereignet, for helping to underwrite and believe and ramp on programming that it does. And until the next time, we'll see you on the square, and thank you for tuning in.
Ramp would like to acknowledge organizations that help make this program possible through FACT TV, including the Vermont Arts Council, the National Endowment for the Arts, Chroma Technology, the Wyndham Foundation, and Stewart Property Management.